So I've been playing with this old machine for the last couple of weeks and uh, well it's been fun but it has its flaws and I'll show you what I did to uh, improve on those flaws. As you can see I uh, removed the uh, old git oilers uh, which were annoying to use because uh, well first of all I left them open all the time and then it was hard to get the oil through there it was just sticking on top and uh, sometimes it was even like bubbling so I replaced them with a small bronze cap and uh, I can just take those off and uh, squirt some oil down the hole and it's it's easier you can just open up and look at it and see if there's enough oil in there alright now on to the bigger problem There's a serious issue with this spindle, well at least I think there is. Um, the front bearing get clamped down over here, so you preload it with this ring here. And then the rear bearing gets uh, preloaded by backing off this ring. And that's it. So when you back this ring off too much it will push the whole spindle assembly forward including the outer ring of the bronze bearing now this ring is supposed to prevent that but there's too much room in here this is like nine millimeters well this is seven not only does the whole spindle move forward when you tighten up uh, this uh, ring too much. It also moves forward when you hit a drawbar to um, punch out the, a taper. So every time I uh, hit the uh, drawbar it moves the whole spindle assembly forward including the outer bronze uh, bearing. Um, the, the rear bronze bearing stays in place because there's nothing riding up against um, the rear of the bearing. So to fix this problem I'm gonna cut about two millimeter off the back of this uh, ring. I um, measured against the front of the workpiece and uh, I got about six hundredths of a millimeter run out. So that's a good enough for me. Uh, here's another little change I made. Um, this uh, washer down here. It's supposed to help distribute the load of uh, this uh, clamp over more of the surface. Because uh, when you clamp down a tool bit, it warps the, um, the top of the slide and uh, it tightens up the dovetails to a point where it gets very hard to move um, so you gotta take care how much you tighten this bolt I don't think it makes much of a difference alright let's take a cut the uh, tripod is uh, in my way so I gotta move the camera I think I need to take off a little bit more. That should do it. Uh, that's good enough for me. I screwed it back in place but it looks like I've taken off a bit too much. Um, which isn't a big problem. I wanted this thing to clamp down on the bronze bearing to keep it in place. But after I uh, screwed it down, the spindle um, well, it didn't run smooth anymore. 
and it stays the same after I take off the uh, the ring. Let me loosen up the ring. These are tiny screws with annoyingly narrow slots. I had to regrind my screwdriver. Alright, so it's loose and it's still binding. Now give it a tap on the back with the hammer and it's loose again. So somehow this pressure on the front bronze bearing is uh, binding up the uh, spindle, which annoys me a lot. I decided that I'm going to take a, a little bit out of the inside that uh, rides against the uh, edge. Hopefully that will solve the problem. It gives me a chance to use the outside jaws. They do look kind of terrible. They uh, well, I don't know what they done with these, but the metal worm sure did a number on these outside jaws. Well, better to have any outside jaws than no outside jaws. That should be enough. Okay, so that improved the fit, but the problem didn't go away. Well, not uh, completely. Apparently, this ring is pushing back the bearing a little. I already pushed it back, but it looks like it's going even further. So I have had to readjust the front bearing, but. Um, now I have a, a new problem. Uh, if I, after adjusting this ring, uh, which uh, does the preload, and I get it to my liking, there's a set screw to keep the ring in place. Now, when I clamp this down, the spindle is is, uh, is binding. So, that's a new problem, but not for today. I probably will need to do some scraping to the front bearing in order to get this fixed. I don't know. There's uh, one more change I made, and uh, that has to do with these clamps that uh, hold down the slide and the uh, and the uh, tailstock they go on the near here so whenever you move things around you loosen it these things have a tendency to turn and if you don't notice that they are going to go up between the ways which is pretty annoying so I got a piece of steel and bolted it down there so it won't turn anymore it's probably going to save some time in the long run and uh, it's definitely going to be less annoying. Um, so those are the changes I made so far. And one more thing. Well it had to happen at some point but uh, I broke my first center drill. It broke while I was drilling some uh, stainless steel and it turned out, as you can see from this picture, that the uh, tailstock is a bit too low. I don't know what's causing this, so that's something I will need to figure out uh, at some point. Well, that's it for me. I'm gonna go inside because it's getting cold here and my nose is starting to get runny.